So in this video, I'm going to rank Modern Warfare's campaign in the Call of Duty series, and I'm going to talk about what I liked and what I disliked, what stood out to me, and so on. Starting off with the first mission, I thought it was a little soft, if that's the right word I'm looking for. Usually with a Call of Duty campaign, it throws something in your face right away, or instead of going from 0 to 60, it just hits the ground running at 80 miles per hour right off the get-go. That first mission, I didn't get that vibe from it. And it didn't feel like the other three Modern Warfare campaigns from the series. It didn't really tell much of a backstory either. Now as the campaign went on, it got a little bit better along the way. You definitely felt that Special Forces part of it, especially on this mission that you are seeing now, and also the other mission, the Wolf's Den, that was somewhat similar to this one. And it literally just seemed like you were raiding Osama Bin Laden's compound in the first half of that mission. Especially when you hit the outside building at the beginning or at the end when you were done killing everybody. As the other teams below you in the building were going through the compound and snatching hard drives and gathering intelligence. That mission was badass. At least the first part of it. I'll probably upload that mission on YouTube just so I can watch it again in the future. But yeah, those two missions I just mentioned were the best. They both stood out the most along with the Embassy mission and also the moments at the end of the campaign when you started to see a couple of the old characters like Kamarov and Nikolai and then the ending when Price was talking about the creation of Task Force 141. That was all fantastic. Now, as for the things that I did not like, obviously the first thing that everybody doesn't like is the new voice for Captain Price. He is arguably the most important character in the entire Call of Duty series. You cannot replicate his voice or his character in any way. That character has had more appearances in all four Modern Warfare campaigns than any other character in Call of Duty. That being said, I really don't think it was a great idea to bring him back. I probably would have preferred the memory of Captain Price and what he did in Modern Warfare 3's ending with him hanging Makarov. I mean, sure, Barry Sloan, the voice actor for the new Captain Price, didn't do a bad job at all, but when I hear his voice, I immediately think of the TV show Six, which is about SEAL Team Six. And I've seen every single episode of that show up until now. So I don't think that worked out too well. At least for me it didn't because of that. The second thing I didn't like was the new characters. I wish we would have seen more characters from the 141. Like Soap, Sandman, Grinch, and also my personal favorite Ghost. Why couldn't they show the early days with all of them? instead of a bunch of characters that we've never seen before, like Farah, and also Hadir, who was by far the worst character in the game. I just didn't get why they put them in the story. Everybody who was a fan of Call of Duty would have preferred to have seen Ghost and Soap again from the time before they got killed. If there was a list of everybody's favorite characters of all time, I'm pretty sure Ghost and Soap are both in everybody's top three or top five. I'm just saying, they dropped the ball on that by not having them be a part of this story. And the last thing, this campaign wasn't very memorable. And I've also heard other people say the same thing as well. I actually finished the entire campaign in the first few hours after the game was released. It was super easy to go through, way too easy to complete, even on veteran difficulty. I almost have to go play it again just to remember what actually happened. There was nothing that was explosive, emotional, or any sense of attachment like you had with the other three Modern Warfare campaigns in the series. This game doesn't have any of those three things. And also, on a side note, part of the campaign will clearly need a patch. I've shot a dead terrorist that was lying dead on the floor on here and it will say mission failed, don't shoot civilians or whatever. So with all that being said, I'm gonna say that this campaign was average compared to the others. 
However, there is no way anybody can say that this campaign belongs anywhere near the top five in the series. Sure, Call of Duty campaigns are all for the most part better than the other shooter game campaigns, but when it comes to comparing them to each other, it's different. To me, the five untouchables in the series when it comes to the campaign, I would say, are Call of Duty 4, World at War, Call of Duty 2, and also MW2 and MW3. Those five had the best campaigns in the series, and I don't think those will ever be taken out of the top five. That being said, which other games had a better campaign than this? I would say Call of Duty Finest Hour, Black Ops 1, Call of Duty 3, and maybe World War 2. I actually did a ranking video of World War 2's campaign a couple years ago. I rated it number 6 in the series. Now that I look back at it, I probably should have rated it near the number 8 to 10 range. But at that time, I was actually pretty happy with that campaign. So with all the games I just mentioned... I would have to put Modern Warfare's campaign behind all those games. Maybe it beats World War II's campaign, so that means that this game would barely get a top 10 spot out of the 16 Call of Duty games in the series. When it comes to the campaign, I'm giving Modern Warfare the nod at the number 9 or number 10 spot, which really isn't bad because all the other games I put ahead of it all for the most part have had a great campaign or was above average but in all honesty i think this game is the definition of the word average not above not below just simply average if you were planning on buying this just for the campaign you might be a little disappointed because call of duty is supposed to be anything but average they are supposed to blow things out of the water. This game didn't. It was average. So with all that being said, that's all I got for this video. Let me know where you would rank this campaign if you beat it already. Subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.